Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, it is that time of the month. I am going to be doing my June favorites. I have a lot of good stuff this month. So if you're interested in seeing what my favorites were for this month, then just keep watching. So I feel like the last couple of months, I didn't have a lot of favorites or I had to really think hard. This month, was easy. There were so many amazing makeup releases that I just want to talk about. If you are interested in what I'm wearing, I actually have a video of me applying everything. It's my what's new at Sephora video, so definitely check that out if you want to see how I did this makeup. But a lot of products in that video are in this video as well. <laughs> so anyways, let's just get into it. So I'm going to start off with my favorite primer of the month. I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now I've had this for a while, but I actually bought this in a new color. This is number Number three so the first color that I had was number one and that was more so to highlight my face I bought number three because it's closer to my actual skin tone and I have been loving this putting it all over my face now it is very sheer so some people were trying to tell me you can put the white all over and you can but this I mean you can tell when this is blended out this is closer to my skin tone so I have noticed this really peeking through my foundations especially since I'm using lighter coverage foundations lately this is perfect so if you want a little bit of glow to shine through I definitely recommend this product this is so many people's favorites so I definitely recommend it by the way I'm just my nails are disgusting just just let it be <laughs> so these next two items are brand brand new honestly haven't worn them all month but I already can tell I am going to love these so I do want to talk about them because I plan on continuing to wear them so it is the new benefit hello happy release I've worn this foundation twice now and I'm so into it so this is the hello happy flawless brightening foundation and this is the hello happy velvet powder foundation i have both in the shade number four i did film a full wear test video so i will link that down below for you to check it out if you want more details but basically these are awesome so i really like this because it's one that stays really well throughout the day especially if you powder to touch up doesn't really go into my smile lines feels really light on the skin and it looks super natural this is just a really good foundation you all i am so happy that benefit released this they surprisingly have very good complexion products this is a brand new release it's 30 dollars, which isn't bad for a higher end foundation and you can get it at a bunch of stores but i totally recommend this check out the video if you're curious as far as the powder foundation goes powder foundation is so underrated i actually wear powder foundation every day to work so i have my few favorites um this i wouldn't wear really for coverage so if you're looking for a full coverage powder foundation this is not your jam but I really like this because it smooths out my skin and reduces the redness when I use this alone and it's light enough that it's great to set over powders now this shade is a little bit deep for me it will match my skin as I get more tan but it just creates a nice blur over the skin that is beautiful so Benefit always does a good job with their powder foundation so this one was really nice I have one eyebrow product to share with you guys also from Benefit and this is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter now I got this in that Desi Perkins eyebrow kit but I have been using the heck out of this it really keeps my eyebrows in place but what I like the most about it is the bristles they really like comb through your lashes and they separate them when the gel dries down so it doesn't clump up your eyebrow hairs together it separates them and it just really keeps them where you want them to be and defines each brow hair so I've really really been loving this as well typically I use the ColourPop brow gel but I have been grabbing for that way more recently so the next item is from my girl Charlotte Silbury one of my favorite brands um this I bought during the Sephora VIP sale I held off on buying this product for such a long time just because it was kind of boring and very expensive and this is the Filmstar bronze and glow I got mine in the shade fair medium and basically it's a lot of money for a 
a bronzer and highlighter color but I really really like this it is so simple and easy for every day and that is why I love it so though it is boring it is something that I feel so comfortable grabbing for the bronze shade is so natural on the skin it's not too warm it's not too cool it just adds some nice shading and depth there the highlight I'm not crazy about but when I'm wearing a really natural look especially with powder foundation this is the perfect highlight when I wear powder foundation I don't want a highlighter that's too bright on my skin because it just looks weird because I'm going for the natural look So that's the perfect way to get a little bit of a highlight on your face without being crazy This is a tried and true in Charlotte Tilbury and I love it. It's so nice The next item is from Dior and that is the Backstage Glow Face Palette in Glitz I absolutely loved the first one Now I will admit I like the first one more still But I've been grabbing for this like crazy I think it's more pleasing to the eye than the other one if you ask me now what I really like about it is um, this shade down here in particular at first I thought I didn't like it because it's a little bit dull and boring compared to the other shades but when you put it on your face it really does add a glow it's a highlight I'm wearing right now with a little bit of this topped right over it but I find that this color really really melts into the skin it is so beautiful it looks so smooth on the skin it does not emphasize texture and then I will add one of the top two colors to have that extra pop which is exactly what I did today again check out my video if you want to see but I love this it is beautiful so happy I picked it up um, this is just a good staple highlighting palette honestly I do have a few eyeshadows to show you so the first are from Kaja and if you watched my review on these you would know how much I loved these so Kaja came out with four different shades now they did release four other ones before these but those those were all their shimmer glitter formula and these ones are awesome because they have two mattes and one shimmer so you can actually create a full look with just one of these and it's so cute and tiny and I love how these create just one beautiful look like you don't have to think about it the quality on these are amazing the mattes blend out so seamlessly and so effortlessly the shimmers are just so beautiful the curation of these colors just looks so good together I would recommend you check out my review to pick one out. Kind of tough to show you because it's not just like a palette. But we have Poppy Champagne, which as you can see is like orangey colors. If you are into pinks and purples, you will really like Hello Azalea. So just reading your guys' comments, it seemed like this one was most of your favorites. This one is Glowing Guava. So it's like a purpley mauve trio. Really gorgeous, very wearable. And the last one, I think this one's my favorite. I really like cool to neutral toned browns. So this one is just that super cool toned. Really nice. Chocolate Dahlia, my favorite. So an eyeshadow palette that I've been loving is one of the new Huda Neon palettes. Now the other two I'm not too crazy about, the pink one and the green one. They just don't do it for me like this one does. So if you were looking to pick up one, I would recommend this one. This is the neon orange one. And I like this one the most because you can get the most amount of looks. And like, look at this. This was an effortless look that I created today with this palette. I feel like the quality in this one is a little bit better. And I didn't think I would like this one, honestly, but I ended up loving it. Now, it's not a palette that I would say I've reached for a ton, but I'm adding it in my favorites because every time I do use it, I'm just like, yes. And you know what, the experience sometimes is just as important. So yeah, this gives me a really nice experience when I wear it and when I use it. The last eyeshadow that I have to share with you, and I'm super surprised at how much I love this. This is the MAC Natural Vice eyeshadow palette. So this is from their new Electric Wonder collection. I wandered into MAC and I picked this up because of the bridal tones in it. So if you don't know, I started doing a bridal makeup, I would say this season. I'm pretty new to doing bridal makeup, but I thought that this was a gorgeous palette to use on clients, um, and the packaging is also stunning. I wanted stuff from this collection for the packaging, and I had no reason to buy this palette for myself, so I bought it for my kit, and honestly, I think I want to keep it for myself. So I did use this on myself before I tried it out on clients, just to make sure it was the quality that I wanted to bring, and I loved it. These are very neutral toned browns, which you know I love. There's a really gorgeous shimmery shade right here that just adds so much glitter 
to your eye but then there's also this kind of flat shimmers as well so honestly even though this looked like something that I wasn't going to use I really really like this palette I don't think most people are as impressed with this palette as I am but I really like it I can't lie lips I do have a few things for lips I did want to give a quick shout out to the Charlotte Tilbury hot lips 2 line I'm like so obsessed with it probably mostly because of the packaging but I also think the colors are lovely I do have a review and swatch video that I will link below. Also, I posted a video on my Instagram that Charlotte Tilbury liked, but I do want to share a couple of my personal favorites. I have talked about this in a couple of videos, but the one that I'm wearing right now on my lips is Karina Star. I think this is the perfect summer color. It's bright without being too bright and just... I love it. I also really like In Love with Olivia. This is such a beautiful nude, and I didn't grab this from my drawer, but JK Magic is probably my favorite nude in this collection. If you like a peachy nude, you might like Angel Alessandra. I was wearing this in my new Arrivals at Sephora video, so if you want to see that on the lips, I also use it in that one. If you like a red hot orangey color, Red Hot Susan is your best friend. I wore this the other day too. Beautiful formula, beautiful packaging. Charlotte Tilbury does it again. And then I've also been wearing these shades a lot too. Hopefully they're still available. These have been on sale for a while and I think this was a good collection but I guess they probably just <laughs> made too much expecting more people to buy it. Uh, but these are from the Becca and Khloe Kardashian and Malika collection. Yeah, the lipsticks that they made are beautiful. Now I love Becca's lipstick formula. I think they have one of the best lipstick formulas, low key. So I have three shades that I've been loving, so I'll swatch them for you guys. So this first one, again, if you like a red hot color, this is Hot Tamale, and it's hot. I think this is beautiful for the summer. I have only worn this once, but the formula is so pretty, and I do occasionally like a really bright lip with just some mascara. But the nudes in this collection, I am obsessed with. They just came out with beautiful shades of nude. So this one is... Cupid's Kiss, which is kind of like a brownie nude. And then the other one that we have here is Yours Truly, which is a little bit more light and peachy. But anyways, I did just want to share these and if they aren't available, please just check out Becca's lipsticks in general because the formula is bomb. Also, everything in this video is like high-end makeup, but here is my drugstore love of the month these NYX lip liners. Now, I'm so late on the game to these. People have been talking about these for years. They are $4 each. I bought these mostly to have my kit, but of course, I wanted to try them on myself first to make sure that I liked them, and these are so good. Now, they do smell a little bit waxy, pencil-y, like not that pleasant, but you know what? You get what you pay for, $4. The actual product itself is really nice. You just need something that is soft enough, but still hard enough to give you a good line and to do it easily so they have so many shades the four that I have are true brown nude beige peekaboo neutral and ever so all of these are just neutral lip colors that I wanted to try out and I definitely plan on purchasing some more of these because I think these would be really good in my makeup kit I did order a few ColourPop lip liners to see which ones I like better I know ColourPops are a lot more soft these are a little bit harder. If you like the MAC lip liners, these are very similar in formula. Last two things, and these are body products. Super late on the bandwagon with these, but I mean, I've been liking them. So I've been liking some body oils. Um, I've never gotten into them, and then one day I tried them in store, and I was like, oh! Okay, so the first one that I have is the Patrick Ta Major Glow Body Oil. This is a Vision Rosé, and I think I got, like, a broken one, though, because the squirter doesn't work a lot, so I'll have to, like, press it ten times to get one squirt, but I'm too lazy to take it to the store. But I think what I love about this most is how it smells. He didn't go, like, the fruity cake candy route like most brands do. It's just a very mature scent, but it smells good. The smell doesn't linger. It doesn't stay on your body for that long, but I'd rather that than like give myself a headache. And I mean, the product itself is nice. That's what I have on my chest. That's what's giving me a glow, a nice sparkly glow. And this is pretty dry. Like it doesn't leave my skin feeling too oily. Uh, I definitely do feel some residue, but it's it's not bad. I do like this one a lot. Now I also have been using the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sunset Glow Oil. I like the way this one looks better. As you can see, it's a lot more like glowy, a little bit less 
glittery just by that finish. Mm, it smells like cupcakes. I just expressed how happy I was that Patrick Shaw didn't go sweet. Well, so De Janeiro did, but this is like nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this one is, girl, you will feel sticky and oily all day. So when I don't want to feel sticky and oily all day, I'll go for the Patrick top. But if I just want this, mmm, 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 so de Janeiro is where it's at. Can't believe I fell in the trap of body oils. But you know what? In my videos, mmm, when I go out to brunch and the sun is hitting me, mmm. I mean, I don't go out to brunch, but if I did, okay? Okay. So time for my favorite part of my favorites, where I tell you guys one of my current favorite people to watch on YouTube. So this person I've been watching for quite some time now. She is gorgeous, she is sweet, she is bubbly, and she is herself all the time. And I just love watching her. Her name is Megan Victoria. She posts, I believe, two times a week. She's very active on Instagram. She takes the most beautiful photos. She is so photogenic. I can't help but just want to keep following her and watching her and see what she's up to. She's gorgeous and she's so good at makeup. She's a makeup artist and she's really great at what she does and if you watch her videos she knows what she's talking about and I just find her very enjoyable to watch. So if you guys could please go to her channel and subscribe to it. Tell her I sent you because I really do enjoy her videos and of course I'm only going to send you there if I think you will like her videos and you will. She's great. I so hope you guys enjoyed this month's favorites. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Let me know what you plan to try after watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.